Alright, what's up YouTube? Rahul Bat Yusra, yes sir. So let's talk about um Nuwabu for a second. What is Nuwabu? Now Nuwabu, what I want you to understand is Nuwabu is a craft. And when I say that, I don't mean an aircraft, I don't mean a spacecraft, or none of such. But just like Nibiru, we're talking about a craft that takes you on a certain mental plane. Okay, now automatically when you hear these words crafts and planes, you, you seem to think of some type of airplane or some type of aircraft. But that's the catch in everything because you have to really be technical in semantics when you're dealing with these type of words. All right, now the art craft of Nuwabu is a psychic self-defense. And what that means is all false information gets challenged. All questionable information gets challenged. And Nuwabu is pretty much a methodology that deals with nothing but facts. Wherever the facts lead us is pretty much where you'll find us. Okay, so um, this craft that brings you on this mental plane, right, you have the overstanding and you become an overseer. You kind of look around and you can determine what's going to take place in the individual's life. You can see the path they're on and you can give them warning to say, listen, you're headed down the wrong path and see things that they might not be able to see. You know, um, you might be able to see things as a big picture. You can see the direction of the world. You can see the good, the pros and the cons of the world and what's going to take place as far as that as well. And even in your own life, you can tell immediately when you should stop doing something, when you should speak on something and really your ability to adapt to sound and reason and emotions would be controlled, okay? And this is what I benefited from the wobble, and I'm just giving you my understanding, all right? So this mental plane that you're on, right, or this craft that you're on, that everyone benefited from, it's just some people are not able to get on the mother plane, we should say, just like every computer has a motherboard, we also have a motherboard in the human anatomy, okay? And this has a lot to do with the central nervous system and the pineal gland. So if you're not vibrating on a certain frequency, something that you might not understand might confuse you or cause static frequency because your mind is one place and your body is in another. You know, you got to realign all your chakras and that's what uh, Nuwabu does for you. It kind of sets your mind, body, and soul all in the same direction or the same accord, I should say, the same etheric chord. And what that does for you, it allows you to realign yourself and to have right thinking with right knowledge. You can determine what is good for you and what is bad for you, even when it comes to information, because in the ancient times and throughout these scriptures, uh, knowledge is considered as fruit or some sort of food. So even knowledge could be absorbed, ate, and, and could be good for you make you healthy or make you sick and that's the that's the big thing in it all too much information is not good for you unless that information is liberation information and it's in a methodology and in line for a person to get the proper understanding not just like a google search where everything is just random okay you write things down and you got a bunch of notebooks everywhere and you can't really find your path right this information is in order for you to pretty much get the understanding download HCM in your software, which is your DNA, and eventually be able to make way without it. You know, once it's downloaded, you won't need the books. Some of us always been on the craft. We ain't need an awakening. We just needed to be pointed in the right direction. So until next time, welcome to the Nuwabian craft. Happy to be your host.